Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of TGM Plays Dark Souls 3. I'm at TGM, today I'm playing Dark Souls 3. When we last left off, uh, we spared Sigward, uh, and he helped us fight off a giant fire dude. And as it turns out, that giant fire dude, well, he, um, he's dead and he gave us a lot of souls, and then Siegfried gave us some alcohol, which gives us frost resistance. So, yeah, big ups to him. Um, also we died again to the Frost Knight in the basement, which, uh, is now my number one enemy. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some Charcoal Pine Bundle. I mean, I honestly have no idea which one is best, but, yeah. Because I felt like, uh, you know, being able to kill this thing, so... I figured... That what we could do... Is go all out. With... Every single... <laughs> consumable item imaginable. Uh, we're obviously not using any of these, but we are going to be using this. No, not this. <laughs> Damn it. We're going to be using, because off screen I found the soul of an unnamed traveler. And so we're going to be eating it. Whoa, that's a lot of souls. Damn it, now I have actually have pressure on me not to mess this up. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where Sigward is, but he's going to be there somewhere. I also leveled up twice. I put another point into strength and another point into vitality. So now I can, uh, as you can see, I can carry a little bit more now. Uh, still not that much, though. Alright, Frosty Boy's still in the basement, so I'm going to ember up from the start. Then, I'm going to eat the green blossom. Then, I'm going to eat, drink up this alcohol. Then I'm gonna do this. Right, you frosty boy. Let's see how you like me now. Then I'm a little bit stronger. Alright, he still doesn't mind that much. He's still kicking my ass. Well, that wasn't particularly successful, was it? Right, I'll cut back to when I'm back there. Right, lads, I'm here again. Now, unfortunately, I am uh, not all that confident. After all, I uh, went all out with an ember and the frost-resistant wine, and I still got wrecked thoroughly. Oh, no, I did my best to avoid losing health um, on the way here. I don't suppose Sigwood's anywhere. I really wish he was. I could use his help. <laughs> I would really appreciate a friend in this place. Right, only one thing to do. Uh, we'll power up again. Right. I'll open up with a couple firebombs. And by a couple, I mean one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, shows how effective my plans are. Whoa, 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 okay, running away, running away. Oh, come on! I still had five flippin' Estuses left. You know what, mate? It's not the fight, it's not the death that's the most annoying, and the waste of my precious items, which I only have one left. It's the flippin' trick back. Do you know how much effort it is to go through this blimmin' sewer? And avoiding damage from these things at all costs. Yeah, I'm sure this is the route I take to get back, by the way. Just run past the King's Keeper. Whoa, don't get me this time. Okay, uh, then I have to go through here. Avoiding the crazy farmers. This time remember to use your Estus, you stupid shadow. Okay, and then, uh, then I gotta take down s this dog. Then I wait for my stamina to regen. Then I run across this bridge. Dodgeball the one. Dodgeball the two. And make a break for the church. This is literally all I do. Every time. Is there anything past here? No? 
Well, I'm currently being chased, so it's probably not a good idea to just stop and turn around. Sigwood, I could really use a bit more of that wine. Like, please. Oh, no, damn it. Let me get down. Good. Okay. So I managed to survive. Uh, I actually have an idea this this time. What we're going to try to do, because last time was complete failure, we're going to try using uh, another one of our items. I mean, admittedly, we don't really have very many items. Uh, but what I thought we could try and do is go invisible. And then maybe we could get a, a critical strike on him. And that might just give us the advantage we need. I mean, I've got no friends down here to help me out this time. Oh my. That's not what I thought it did. I'm a pot. And now I'm not a pot anymore. Good grief. Right. Give me this. Give me fire damage. Give me my souls. Oh, let's just freaking do this. I'm tired of running from you. Oh, even getting close to him, I get frosted. Okay, I've actually got to remember to heal this time. And try to avoid getting frostbitten. Wait, is this a plan? Can I hide behind this pillar? Eh. Whoa, I've got it this time. Whoa, no I don't, no I don't. Okay, drinking up. Not dying this time. Okay, my heart's pumping. Uh, you know, suck it. Whoa. Yeah. Take that, you st Yeah, I don't really care what that was. I found his weakness. You hide behind a wall. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. Now, Shadow, open the doors to Narnia. That's not Narnia. Is it a bonfire? Oh, yes. Road of <gasps> This is where we get the Exile Curve Greatsword. This is where we can get it, lads. We might need to get a bit more vitality, but, you know. We can burn that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, there we go. We only wasted, like, all of our items. Alright. Very good. Alright, lad. Uh, you. Uh. I don't want to... I don't want to have you equipped anymore. Remove. 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 Right. Well, considering that's all the things I really need, um... Yeah, I wish Sigwood could have been there to help me out. Unfortunately, you can't always get what... Oh, who are these little gremlins? Whoa, he's gonna... Okay, might be a good idea to kill him before he transforms anymore. What the hell are these things supposed to be, mate? It was turning into a bird or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. Right, so effectively what I'm gonna do... Well, first of all, well, I have no idea where I am. I know I'm on the road to sacrifice, which is where you meet the Exile Brothers. Which is where you get the Exile Curved Greatsword. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a, oh, it's his corpse. Uh, yeah, so there's a bonfire just back there, so it's not that bad. I've only got a thousand souls. I don't have to be that too careful. And a soul of an unknown traveler is going to give me a quick boost if ever I need it. What's this way? It's another monkey, man. Well, it seems like if you kill the monkey men before they get a chance to finish transforming... You can kind of just kill them nickety split. These kids play Minecraft. Whoa! Bloody hell, mate. What kind of attack's that? And what am I breathing in? This isn't looking purple bar as usual. Yeah, these things attack pretty fast. Bit of an unnecessary waste of Estus there, but... I'm not really sure what those things were, but damn, they hit pretty fast. Oh! Okay. Not honestly that threatening once you get to 
Want to get to killing. Okay. Where's the way down? Is this the way down? It turns out, yes. Even a person with no health could survive that. Okay, you're gonna have to calm down. What's my, what's my new sword? That's a real straight sword. Wow, it's actually got a plus to physical damage, but it requires extra dexterity and it'll put me way over carry weight. When do I just do this? Okay, it will put me under carry. I'll still be under carry weight if I go there. So hypothetic. Okay. Okay, going down the risky path of crazy ladies. Whoa, okay, this kid still ain't dead yet. It's about to be, though. That's what you get for trying to come at me with a cleaver, son. You look about half naked. Right. Brigand star. Oh, wait, this is the, um... How, be, how to be a brigand starter set. Nice, I guess. You know, I wasn't ever be planning on becoming a brigand, but... If I ever wanted to, that road is now open. Probably not because my stat distribution's all wrong, but you know. I really hope there's a way to reset stats, because I mean, I don't think I've reset any of my stats particularly wrong for the kind of build I'm going for. I just don't know if I've set them particularly right. Yeah, so this shadow is quite a ways more powerful than old shadow. Another Titanite shard. I could probably give my sword a plus three upgrade. That'd be pretty sick. Fortunately, I don't really think I need it though. I mean, sword does sword does a decent amount of damage as it is. It's coming; I mean, it can carve through these old bats pretty easily. Now, where is the fourth damn chaos emerald? And by that, I mean where's the way to progress? Ah, here it is. Now I can tell because the bird boy. Okay, you want to get away from there, because they put out some, like, purple stuff. Oh, was that you? Like a ninja bird boy over here. Well, they're doing magic. I think I'm going to be killing you right quick. Ugh. I can't let my guard down. I think it's best to just tactically run away. Another bonfire. I can heal, right? Ah, get wrecked. You can't get me now. You're not even there anymore. Who are you two jokers? Blue sentinels. Co oh. It's more of that covenant oh, stuff. Hello. How do you do? Oh, hello. I am Anri of Astora, unkindled like you. Yeah? This is Horace, a friend and travelling companion. Doesn't speak much, does he? Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? Yep. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the Cathedral. Home of the Grim Aldrich. I've heard of him. He was in the we opening cutscene. We go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. You seem cool. Oh yes, he's not very tall, but don't think ill of him. Without his help, I would have... Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't really have time for the rest of your dialogue. Episode to get through and all that. Ah, okay, this is more looking like the swamp of uh, the Exile Brothers. I want that great sword, damn it! I was considering titling this episode "Fall of the Frost Knight," but if I find me that great sword, I may have to be titled, "Oh yeah, guess who just got his favorite weapon?" Even though I've never used it ever, because you know, blind let's play and all that. I like doing the blind let's plays, like Sonic Forces and Dark Souls Three. My reactions are a lot more genuine, as you definitely saw at the Index Grundia. Except now I've kind of calmed down and I'm playing Dark Souls the way it's meant to be played. Well, probably not. But, you know. It's so. I mean, the game, sure, it's a pain in the ass when, like, you get it wrong. 
when you get it right, it's satisfying as all hell. Probably don't want to go in the water. I mean, I, ma I imagine I'll have to at some point. But for now, it seems like those waters would be the places where all the crocodiles would lurk. Never mind, the waters ain't actually that deep. <gasps> it's a mud crab! Oh, hello! I remember you from Skyrim. You were just as unimpressive. Oh, it's mushroom people. Oh, hello. Whoa! <laughs> oh, my brother. You do not know the way. Okay. Cornering myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not even a mini boss or anything. You're just a regular enemy. Yep. Uh, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> Is that him? Is that the wielder of the Exile Curve Greatsword? Whatever he is, I'm staying out of his way. Yeah, I found uh, Farron's, Farron's thing. I hope Farron knows how to deal with uh, Jesus. <laughs> All these guys have been uh, put on the cross. I'm very... Yeah, uh, that's why they cross with me. Get it? Haha, <laughs> lol. Okay. Uh, did that door lock behind me? Whoa, that's... <gasps> Alright, that's another one of those uh, lizard guys I tried to kill once. Didn't really work out for me, but, you know, these must. There's got to be a way to escape from these guys, right? Even if I just make it bon back to the bonfire. To my fact, I don't know where the bonfire is. I am quite lost. Whoa. These guys don't give up. If I was chasing someone, I would have given up the minute they uh, left, they got out of my house. Whoa. Get out of here. 150, 200 souls. That's too many. Just give up. Might go level up. Just spend my souls. What do you mean I can't rest at the bonfire? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, you're a new one. Who are you? Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? Never met you before. I am Sirius of the Sunless Realms, former servant of the Divinity. Who? Oh? Duties we each bear, but one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Thanks, Bae. Um, who are you? Welcome, host. Yeah, yeah, Very level me well, up. Then take Give me the pa power. Get to pa. Oh, wow. Not even enough well to get it. You misunderstand, though, for I have, in my inventory, soul of an unknown traveler. Oh, yeah, give me them souls. Welcome. Very well. Now, then lady, please level up my strength again. Not using the Exile Curve Greatsword without uh, strength, well, after all. Right, back to the forest. Can't have, uh. Yeah. Right, I'm back. Just as a quick uh, note, guys, I will eventually be coming back off screen and defeating the tree boss again. Just because, A, he gives me a tremendous amount of souls, easily enough for a level up. And, two. Because, you know, I need to kill him again. And I reckon I'm str and I reckon I'm strong enough to get the job done. Another soul of an unknown traveler. It'll be handy a couple minutes ago. Oh, God. More undead dogs. I lose health rather quickly to these chumps. Out of stamina. Why am I on Ashenesis flasks? Get the proper ones, thank you. The only ones I need. I gotta remember, I can't just kill him before he kills me. I've gotta actually dodge. More Titanite. I really could afford to make my, my weapon plus three, but I'd much rather save that for the exile.
And as terrifying as those jokers were from before. Like the ones with the uh, cross on their backs. I was more interested in the Black Knight. Because, you know, if you've ever seen Monty Python, you'll all know the Black Knight is nothing to mess around with. After all, because, you know, he's powerful. Who's that big boy? Oh, God. Blimey, heck, even the mud crabs are nothing to mess around with in this forest. Jesus, this is not a happy swamp. No one else killing. Well, okay, it sees me. <laughs> You know, back when I was messing with you little guys, I didn't think I'd have to face your father. But I do, and he's, uh, he's none too happy. Did you guys just come out of a, did you guys just come out of crosses in the ground? Damn it, you attack fast. Drink up. Whoa, hey, don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me, come on. Well, that was interesting. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this episode of TGM Plays Dark Souls 3. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more in the future. I'm sorry for the inconsistency on this series, but with school back, I can simply do the best I can and nothing more. So yeah, the tree boss will be it. And I'll probably do some running around. I'll try not to kill a black knight, but if he crosses my path, hoo -hoo -hoo, yeah, he'll have to be uh, taught a lesson as to why I shouldn't mess with the shadow. And for the love of God, someone cover up my neck. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Yes,